I welcome you once again to another episode of Moment of Joy. We shall be addressing ourselves as Nigerians and as a message to the nation. A lot is going on about the economy of the nation, the situation we are finding ourselves as a nation. But when we call God, God will hear us. And when we pray, God will answer us. But there's something we need to do for God to hear us. God says, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and confess of their sin, how the Lord will heal their land. We can, our prayer can only be answered when we come with a true, genuine, and a true repentance. When we come to God with a new heart. When we come to God with a genuine heart of repentance. And I'll be speaking with us this day on a new heart and a new nation. A new heart, a new nation. It takes a new heart to beat a new nation. Second Kings chapter 2, verse 19. We read the story of the man of God, Elisha, that was crossing Jericho. And the Bible said the men of the city came unto Elisha. And they said the situation of this land is good. This land is blessed. This land has resources. But the river is bitter and causes death and barrenness. It's like the story of Nigeria. Nigeria is a well-blessed nation. Nigeria has all the resources that we could find anywhere in the world. But in the midst of blessings and resources, Nigerians are suffering. And the Bible says, the man of God, Elisha, told them, he says, let the man bring him a cruise, a new cruise, a new cruise. A cruise is like a bowl, a, 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 a clay jar, a clay bowl. He said, bring it, and he pour hot and poured salt into it, and he poured it to the source of the water. And the Bible said the water was ill from that day. Don't forget, it was Joshua that placed a curse on the city of Jer Jericho. He took another prophet to reverse that curse. What is the message as it's related to us as Nigerians? We have been praying, we have been going to mountain, we have been declaring fasting and everything. But God said, tell your people to give me a new heart, a broken heart and a contrite spirit. The Lord will not neglect. We need to give Give God a new heart. We need to do what they call a true repentance. As a people, Nigerians should go before God with the heart of pureness, not with sinful life. There are a lot of injustice in this nation. There are sin being committed at the top of the nation, at the top of the leadership. Even within a, every citizen, of this nation should come to repentance. I cry and cry for mercy over this nation. We want God to help us. We need to come with a new heart. We need a leader. We need the citizen with a compassionate heart. We need leaders and citizens that are selfless in their thinking. We need citizens and leaders that are contented. We need God-fearing leaders. We need leaders that we operate with justice and fairness. And how do we get it? Number one, we need true repentance. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians 7, 14, that eat my people, like I've quoted earlier, he said, I will eat their land. Number two, we need to come with a new heart. He said, bring me a new cruise. A cruise is representing our heart. We need to come with a new heart. David said in Psalm 51 verse 10, he said, Create in me a new heart, O God, and renew the right spirit within me. If Nigeria will change, it starts from me and you. If things will change in this nation, the repentance must start from every individual. Because the leadership are chosen among men, it is time for true repentance. A new heart will bring a new nation. God bless you. Amen. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground.